Uh, congratulate Texas. Uh, they did a nice job of manufacturing the last drive to kick the field goal to, to win the game. Proud of our guys. We uh, thought we played well uh, against a really good football team and got off to a fast start, which we had to do with those guys coming off an open week and, and having lost a game and um, couldn't have asked for a better start to go up 14 to nothing. And then uh, I think the game settled down. And uh, obviously, they're a really good football team. They offensively, defensively, they've got really good players. Players and uh, they were able to jump on us in the second half and get up 24-14 and uh, proud of the way our guys uh, fought back and, and had an opportunity to uh, uh, take the lead and we end up tying the game and um, and then uh, they make a nice drive with the quarterback making some plays and kick a game winner. It stinks to lose. Uh, there's no moral victories. Uh, guys are hurting, but um, um, proud of the way the guys fought and battled, and, and uh, w we need to uh, bounce back and, and have a great week of prep and get ready for the next one. What did you guys see on the, the third and 14 conversion that they had in the last drive? Uh, we pressured and they picked it up and, and their receiver uh, got open and, and quarterback delivered on the ball and shoot, they made a play. What adjustments did they make that seemed most problematic? They blitzed us unbelievably in the in the second quarter on, especially in the run game. They they were not going to sit there uh, and allow Skyler time to throw it or for us to rush the football. And when we rushed the football as well as we did last week, um, we anticipated pressure, but uh, I thought they, they did a really good job of, of of saying you're not going to run the football because we're going to overload the box all day long. At the quarter, it seemed like uh, they really put their foot down. Um, how problematic was that? Well, they, they're tough to block. I mean, they're really good. They, they've got really good defensive linemen and linebackers that uh, I thought uh, hit their fits really well and, and caused us some problems. And then, um, you know, we we were kind of on our heels a little bit trying to stop some of the RPO game by doubling the, the, the big receiver that was such a talented guy. Uh, but then if you do that, then you're a little short in the run game. And, and we were kind of trying to uh, do a little bit of both. And um, it, it's difficult because... Uh, uh, they have the ability to, with their RPO game, to, to hurt us, whether it's a slot or the X receiver, as well as run the football. And I thought the quarterback did a really good job of really holding it and riding it out. How tricky is it to manage that late game situation where they're more or less trying not to score to get the last play? How, just how do you play that out? Yeah, I mean, we, we wanted to try to get the stop originally, and then when the time was going to run out, we, we assumed that you know we were trying to strip it, strip it. If they score, they score, but they weren't trying to score. Obviously, they were just going to go down and, and try to kick Fogo. Did you feel like the fumble there by, by Mason, did that really take the one out of your uh, poten yeah. yeah, potentially. I thought we could have maybe gotten three out of it uh, there. Who knows? Um, but uh, I don't know if they even scored on uh, on that drive or not. I didn't think they did, but they, they may have. It was obviously uh, a big play. Play, trying not to uh, turn the football over is key in that, but I think you know we countered that by by Walt making a big interception that probably derailed one of their scoring opportunities. You guys have, have had success, and this is a setback. What what did you say to the guys in the locker? Uh, that we're a really good team and uh, continue to believe and continue to, to uh, own your preparation Monday through Friday because our guys were prepared and ready to play and um, I, I know we're getting better every week and uh, it, it, once again, it, it stinks to lose. It, it sucks and, and the guys are hurting in there but I, I know we're getting better and uh, you know, we got to move on to the next week. It'll, this one will hurt for 24 hours, and we got to move on. And we got to got a lot of season left to play. And what did they show you, especially? At just great resolve, which I, I knew they had, and uh, you know they, they didn't flinch. Um, they didn't flinch when we were up 14 nothing, and they didn't flinch when we were down 24-14. It was the same even keel sideline. Uh, they knew this was going to be a four-quarter game, and uh, uh, it sure as heck was. Does your approach change at all when you do start off so well in a game like today? No, not not really. I mean, it's not like we changed a bunch of things we were doing. I, I think they probably adjusted more by pressure and, and, and things. And they just didn't have, I didn't think they had the ball very much in the first quarter. And that was why, you know, we were able to get the one stop and then get another score. But, uh, um, you know, I, I knew uh, that this was going to come down to a four-quarter affair. How much have the, the injuries you've been dealing with that running back affected the offense? You know, obviously some. You know, when... 
James can't play, didn't he make the trip? And and Jordan, he's not Jordan uh, as 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 we know. Uh, and we gave it to Tyler a little bit today. But give Texas credit, you know, whomever was rushing the football today, they were going to outnumber us at the point of attack. And and uh, I, I thought their front played really well. Was that as good as you've seen Skyler as, as pass from? He's had a career high for yards today. And there was one point in the first four, or in the first half, he was thirteen and fifteen. I thought he hung in there really well because they were bringing pressure and some of it was delayed pressure and we were barely getting guys free uh, and, and he would hang in there and make some good throws and even the, the touchdown to um, to Malik on the first one, they had double pressure coming off the outside and we picked up one of them and he just got the ball off but uh, that's what uh, good quarterbacks do is they, they make people pay when they do pressure them. What were your thoughts on what you saw from, from Josh when the kickoff return late? Yeah, that was a big play. Uh, happy for for our guys and and uh, great design and great blocking. And then uh, he hit the seam and he's got another gear. And I, I'm excited for him uh, to make a big play in in a big game. That's a true freshman doing it on a big stage. And uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that that'll continue to give him confidence in in all in all aspects of his game. You guys came into this with. Number 16 next year in the playoff range. Do you sense that maybe Texas was a little bit more fired up than some other teams? Couldn't tell you. You'd have to ask those guys. I mean, we didn't talk about the 16th ranking at all. I'm sure it's out there on social media, but our guys just focused on the daily process of trying to find a way to come up with a plan to uh, to beat them. I, I think a big factor was they had an open week and, and they were able to get some guys healthy and uh, they had a great game plan and uh, they executed it. I know a lot of people, I'm sure, were wondering how you guys would look without AJ. I mean, you got to only give up the one touchdown, you have the interception. How did you like the way the DBs played? You know, I was proud of Kiwi and, and Walt. Um, I think they went most of the way. I don't know that I'd have talked to Van if he put anybody else in, but uh, I thought they, they battled against some really good receivers. You know, Johnson and, and Duvernay are, are excellent receivers, and um, the run-pass option uh, when the quarterback's running it like he is, uh, you know, they can just beat you so many ways, and so I, I thought our guys battled. What would the status be of James and Joe Irvin? They're week to week. I, I you know, I, I thought James practiced uh, better this week. Uh, a little, you know, on Thursday was the only day he really gave us, and um, then they just said he didn't think he would. You know, and, and on the road, you only can take so many guys, and so for us to take somebody and then not be able to play him really hurts us on special teams. And so we'll have to evaluate him again next week. Anything else? How about the the road ahead? Three games to go. What can you guys do for? Well, we can do an awful lot still, but uh, it starts with um, West Virginia this week and, and having great preparation and getting a chance to play at home. And uh, seniors only have a couple more opportunities to, to play at home. And so, um, like I said, this one will sting, but uh, our guys will, will bounce back and, and the leadership will show up. He's a tremendous football player. He's a he's very tough. He throws the ball really well. He reads things really well. He's very patient. Uh, he's hard to bring down. And uh, granted, he didn't hurt us as much running the football, but he just kept plays alive. He's a tremendous football player.